A fear of snakes is common, and it's easy to understand why. Just look at them, they're super creepy and kinda horrifying. And some are so horrifying, you won't believe it when you see them. These are the scariest snakes that actually exist. Number 15. King Cobra Fully matured king cobras are yellow, black, brown, or green, and usually have white patterns like crossbars or chevrons. If these patterns and colors don't make them easy to identify, then their long lengths of up to 12 feet and their deadly venom will. Although, you don't exactly want to find out the hard way. Oh, and here's a fun fact for you. They're also called king cobras because they kill and eat cobras. This is the main reason the king cobra hates other snakes. To them, they're just food, not friends. Someone needs to tell Bruce the great white shark from Finding Nemo that before he starves to death. King cobras live in northern India all the way to southern China, which includes Henan and Hong Kong. You'll also find them in Indonesia and the Philippines. So basically, stay away from these parts of the world if you're scared of snakes. They tend to hang out in streams within open and dense forests, and even in mangrove swamps and agricultural areas. Mostly, you'll discover them near a body of water like a stream, as humidity levels and temperatures stay the same. Fortunately, they only attack people when they are cornered and cause fewer than five deaths a year. Like this video, smash the subscribe button and click the notification bell right now or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. Green Tree Python The problem with the green tree python is that they don't tick all the boxes for being considered a threat to human. They aren't venomous, only grow up to about 5 feet long, and they just don't seem to be very dangerous. And that's where you get caught out. As innocent as they seem, just dangling their tails from tree branches to see what's around, they can be a real threat. Sure, their bite doesn't produce any venom, but they still bite, and it hurts enough that you should always receive medical treatment. And what happens if they don't bite? Well, that doesn't mean you get to get away scot-free. They aren't strong enough to crush a human, but they have been known to try. Green tree pythons live in Australia, New Guinea, and eastern Indonesia. In these places, they prefer areas of high humidity and thick vegetation such as rainforests, gardens, and forests. They lounge around in trees most of the time, but they venture to the ground later at night. This is their time to shine. They look around for large, active prey at night like reptiles and small mammals. They find their mark with sight, but then use their labial pits to identify their heat signature. As soon as their prey gets close, they strike and it's game over. Number 13. Saw Scaled Viper if you're going to experience any snake-related nightmares after this, I nearly guarantee that saw-scaled vipers will be the star of the show. Just looking at them, though, it's hard to see why. They're pretty boring-looking and only grow up to about three feet. Not exactly large enough to crush you, right? But you haven't experienced their venom. If you had, you probably wouldn't still be here, to be honest. Saw-scaled vipers have incredibly lethal venom. Don't believe me? In areas where they live, they're responsible for more human deaths than all snake species put together. I'm not even being dramatic. They live in dry savannas and arid regions, which means you'll likely discover them in southwestern Asia, India, Sri Lanka, Arabia, and Africa. They have stout bodies, pear-shaped heads, short and thin tails, and serrated scales in shades of gray, brown, and even orange. Now that you know what they look like, you can avoid them like the plague. They are aggressive and easily irritated, which is not a good combination when they have deadly venom. As soon as you notice their body folding into an S-shape and they make a hissing sound with their scales, run. Number 12. Tiger Snake 
We know that tigers are pretty dangerous, but do you know what's just as dangerous and possibly even more so? The tiger snake. They get their name, of course, from their stripes, which are yellow and black to brown, and grow up to nearly seven feet long. Fortunately for most of the world, these terrifying tykes only live in Australia. Sucks to be you guys. So you might be wondering what's so scary about tiger snakes. And it has everything to do with their toxic venom and aggressive nature. In this case, their bark is as bad as their bite. When they feel under threat, they hold their body in a loose curve and raise their head to point it at the offender. If you don't take the hint, they hiss loudly while inflating and deflating their bodies. That's now your final warning before the tiger snake will lash out and bite. Its venom is dangerously coagulant and neurotoxic, which means immediate medical treatment is crucial if, you know, you don't want to die. Surprisingly, tiger snakes actually have predators. Nesting gulls peck out their eyes, and both birds and other snakes consider them delicious snacks. Number 11. Inland Taipan the inland taipan often gets called the fierce snake. To be fair, it's not hard to work out why. If you consider the median lethal dose of their venom in mice, their venom is the most toxic of any snake, even sea snakes that most of us fear quite a lot. Inland taipans have enough venom in a single bite to kill 100 fully grown humans. This, combined with the fact that they're fast, agile, and highly accurate with their bite, is definitely a recipe for disaster. Fortunately, they're also quite shy, which means they would much prefer to remove themselves from challenging situations rather than fight. Same, actually. Although, if you try to stop it from escaping or provoke it, which I'm not sure why you would, you can expect to be bitten. In terms of human deaths per year, they rank in the top spot. These terrifying critters live in Australia, which sucks for them, but is good news for everyone else in the world. If you happen to be bitten by this snake, you can expect to experience a range of awful symptoms. You might start with a headache, nausea, and vomiting, but this can soon turn into stomach pain, dizziness, convulsions, organ failure, and damage, and then, eventually, death. How delightful! Number 10. Black Mamba One of the most feared but also most respected snakes in Africa is the Black Mamba, which is known to be fast, intelligent, and definitely dangerous. They can grow up to about 8.2 feet long, but some have also been measured at up to over 14 feet as well. In most situations, black mambas will not attack and are not aggressive, although that doesn't mean they're afraid to bite. If you threaten them and they can't get away, they can raise their heads off the ground, flatten their hoods, and bite several times. One bite is bad enough, but this snake just keeps on going, and its venom is highly toxic. Just two drops of venom can be all it takes to kill a human, and they have up to about 20 drops in their fangs ready to go. Black Mamba venom contains cardiotoxins and neurotoxins. These attack the heart and nervous system, which means you don't stand a chance without medical treatment. You can start to feel pain and slight burning, followed by losing control of your speech and tongue before blurred vision, drowsiness, medical confusion, and paralysis kick in. To say the bite is life-threatening is an understatement. Number 9. Boom Slangs Boom Slangs, which have the technical name of Dysphalidus typus, are terrestrial snakes in Africa found in lowland forests, Karoo scrubs, and arid savannas. They have long, thin bodies, blend in with their environments, and spend much of their time up in the trees. Sometimes they pop down to the ground if they want to sunbathe or grab a bite to eat. They sound pretty chilled out and harmless, but these almost five foot long nope ropes are anything but. Out of all rear fanged snakes, boom slang is one of the most venomous. 
They can open their mouths 170 degrees, then inject potent hemotoxic venom into their victims. This immediately gets to work, decimating their circulatory systems. Upon being bitten, your blood can stop clotting and you can end up bleeding to death externally and internally. The venom is slow acting, which means symptoms sometimes don't set in until hours later. If you don't seek treatment for a boomslang bite, you can end up dead. But there is some good news for us. Unlike some other animals, boom slangs don't tend to strike unless we give them a reason to. So don't try and cuddle one and you should be okay. Number 8. Malayan Crate the Malayan crate, or Bungarus candidus, is a venomous snake species that grows up to 43 inches long with a 6.3 inch tail. They can be a variety of different colors, but tend to feature varying shades of black, brown, and bluish black with yellowish white spaces in between the darker shades. Malayan crates are found in Southeast Asia, typically from the south of Indochina to Bali and Java in Indonesia. If you're in these parts and get bit by these sassy snakes and don't seek treatment, you could become a statistic. And not a good one. Their bites have a 60 to 70 percent mortality rate. Researchers have looked at Malayan crates and their venom at great lengths. From their research, they've been able to identify plenty of helpful information that allows them to treat people experiencing bites as as effectively as possible. They also identified a wide variety of symptoms that people experience after being bitten, such as abdominal pain, bradycardia, high blood pressure, and seizures. Typically, the onset of symptoms begins after around three hours. Surprisingly, not all people in their studies even had symptoms. In this case, they determined that they experienced a dry bite, which means no venom was released. Number 7. Russell's Viper Russell's Viper is a venomous snake native to the subcontinent of India. It gets its name from Patrick Russell, who described it in his work in 1796, titled An Account of Indian Serpents Collected on the Coast of Coromandel. Patrick Russell was a Scottish herpetologist who described many of the snakes found in India, so it was only fitting that he finally had one named after him. Although, I'm sure he would have probably liked to have a less dangerous one. Russell's vipers can grow up to about 5.5 feet long, with the average being about 4 feet long. They are slender with flattened, triangular heads and rounded, raised, and blunt snouts. They are also noticeable by their large, single nasal scale and large nostrils. They are also quite noticeable by their threatening behavior. They are terrestrial snakes that can become very aggressive when pushed past their limits. When they are, they form an S-shape, raise part of their body off the ground, and hiss louder than any other snake. They can also react violently when picked up, although I'm not sure why it would. After all, the volume of venom necessary to kill a human is present in a single bite from one of these guys. Number 6. Death Adder you're probably not gonna ask why this snake gets called Death Adder. The answer's pretty much in the name. They are highly venomous snakes found in Australia and Papua New Guinea that used to have a death rate of around 50% before antivenom was developed in the 1950s. Their venom is primarily neurotoxic, which means you can start losing control of your muscular system before you even know what's happening. Eventually, your respiratory system fails before you eventually die. Unless, of course, you're in a hospital fast enough to receive assisted breathing. People also experience abdominal pain, drowsiness, headaches, and enlarged lymph nodes. Sometimes they can produce a dry bite, which means you'll likely be fine, but they are considered high venom yielders, so I wouldn't say I like your chances. Their bite can also be devastating for pets. Dogs tend to only live around 20 minutes after being bitten, and that's even after the extremely costly antivenom. Their best chance of survival is receiving treatment before symptoms start to kick in. That pretty much goes for humans as well. Number 5. Mojave Rattlesnake Mojave rattlesnakes, or Crotalus scutellatus, if you want it to sound like I'm reciting spells from Harry Potter, is a pit viper with an incredibly potent neurotoxic and hemotoxic venom. In fact, you'd go so far as to say it's one of the most powerful in the world. 
It comes in two varieties, with some snakes having one or the other. One causes your body to shut down, and the other causes internal bleeding until you die. So I don't really think you'd prefer one over the other. Typically, the type of venom you receive if bitten depends on where you live. The one that makes you bleed to death tends to be in snakes around South Central Arizona. The one that causes your body to shut down is basically anywhere else these snakes live. They are mostly in northern to central Mexico and the southwestern United States. Mojave rattlesnakes grow up to about 4.5 feet long and look like most other rattlesnake species. They have keeled scales, a rattling tail, and heat-sensing pits, although they are way more aggressive than most other snakes. While most will back away from a fight unless they're backed into a corner, there have been reports of this snake actually chasing and attacking people. Number 4. Elapids Elapids aren't a single snake species. Instead, they are a family of venomous snakes known to have fangs in the front of their mouths that are always erect and ready to eject. This family of snakes is also well known for how they spread their neck flaps while rearing upwards to show their victim or prey that they mean business. You can find them in tropical and subtropical parts of the world, such as Asia, Australia, Africa, and the Americas. Some marine forms of elapids also exist, and these live in the Indian and Pacific Oceans. They can be as small as 7.1 inches long, which tends to be the length of the white-lipped snake, or as long as 19 feet which is more likely to be the king cobra. Most of the species within the elapids family have neurotoxic venom, which is terrible news for their victims. This venom can pretty much immobilize any prey or threat by damaging your heart and cells. Their venom can also contain hemotoxins, which solidify and clot your blood. If any member of the elapids family bites you, you will need a specific anti-venom for elapidae bites. Number 3. Green Anaconda The green anaconda is, without a doubt, one of the longest snakes in the world. It tends to grow up to about 20 feet long, with the longest in the world measuring 29 feet. It's not uncommon for them to also weigh about 550 pounds. The good news is, they're not venomous, as I can't imagine anything more terrifying than being struck down by some weighing over half a ton and spanning 20 feet in length. But don't let that make you think they are incapable of killing you. They use constriction to kill their prey. Once they find something they like, which is usually tapers, wild pigs, caimans, and even jaguars, they grab them in their jaws, lock them in place with their teeth, then wrap their body around them to make them die from crush injuries or suffocation. If they can do this with animals, they can do this with people. We're just pleased it's a rare occurrence. Green anacondas are native to South America and mostly live in marshes, streams, and swamps. They spend more time in the water since they can move easier, and they also tend to hunt in water as well. Number 2. Reticulated Python the green anaconda is quite scary because of how large it is. But do you know what's even scarier? The reticulated python. They are the longest living species of snake in the world, growing up to about 25 feet, and they kill their prey in the same way as green anacondas, by coiling around their victim and squeezing until they're dead. This usually takes a couple of minutes, but swallowing can take several minutes, and even up to an hour. This is a terrifying enough thought when you think about animals animals being eaten by reticulated pythons, but they also have an appetite for humans. An Indonesian farmer was swallowed whole in 2017 on the island of Sulawesi. He was found inside the snake after locals cut it open. He had been reported missing when he failed to return home from harvesting palm oil. After searches took place, the python was found and it was suspected that it had eaten him. It was lying, not moving, in a ditch. So they cut it open and the horrifying truth was revealed. It had. Sweet dreams, everyone. Number 1. Titana Boa we have so many massive, terrifying, aggressive, and venomous snakes around us that it can be a little bit overwhelming. 
You probably don't even want to walk on the grass barefoot and have fears of giant snakes dropping through your ceiling while you sleep. If you didn't, you do now. Well, you can sleep a bit easier knowing what could have been the largest snake in the world is now extinct. The Titanoboa existed around 58 million years ago and would have grown to about 40 feet long and weighed 2,500 pounds. They lived in northeastern Colombia and are still the largest snake ever discovered. The name Titanoboa means Titanic Boa, and it's pretty accurate if you ask me. Fossils of these snakes have been found in the Serijón coal mine and the Serijón formation, with about 28 individuals in total. From these fossils, researchers have been able to determine that they had a total length of about 42 feet. There's every reason to believe they would have also been apex predators and were able to grow to the size they were because of the warm climate. Climate change is thought to be why they went extinct. Whether it's a king cobra or an earthworm, you won't see me touching or going near any of them. To me, all snakes and snake-like animals are high on my no-thank-you list, but I was definitely of the belief that king cobras were among the most terrifying. If a snake entered your house, which one of these would you hope it would be? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!